Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are today, one of the most asked questions, how to get sponsors. I've got my boss from Berkeley Pro Staff. He gets all this stuff. He's got a monster pro staff. He sees it day in, day out. You've got those questions, how to get a sponsor. We're gonna answer them right here today. From the top of the Really, the, what, this, what this video is going to be about is about the young anglers. You know, those guys that, man, they aspire to, to do what me and you do. I mean, I, heck, I, I, the very first time I ever saw you or, or knew anything about you was watching television in a tournament, a college tournament. And, uh, you know, you had logos on your shirt at the time back then, and now you are in the position that I report to you, you know, at Berkeley. <laughs> Something to, like that, yeah. <laughs> make sure that I do a good job, you know, for the company. And uh, so I want to just kind of ask you a bunch of questions for these young people watching. What do you look for? Like, what, uh, let's say we got a, I don't know, you want to say 16, 17, 18-year-old kid, 20-year-old kid that, that loves fishing's ate up with it. You know, so many of them just think the sponsors come knocking on their doors and money falls from the sky. And, uh, you know, if they catch four or five bass and they're good to go, yeah. it kind of doesn't work that way. Yeah, and um, I, I'll, I'll give you some background on myself. I, I was a tournament angler. I loved to fish. I fished in college. I had a little bit of success. It just didn't work out where I could be on the road all the time fishing freshly. I, not as good as you guys are. So I, I found a way to use my passion and what I'm, what I'm knowledgeable about. And, I, and, and, and that's a path these young kids could take. Uh, it's, there's a lot of jobs in the industry that are very uh, rewarding for what you love to do. Like what, 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 what you know the most about. There, there's a lot of jobs in, in this industry that where you can really excel even though you don't get to fish every day you told me that you were the youngest person in the office and in your office you said there's 200 people yeah and when you first got your job you're how old did you yeah, say uh i was 24 wow. yeah, 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 yeah yeah and since then we have a lot of younger people in the company now but when i started i was and i've been there six years now that's awesome so, yeah that's awesome yeah that's and, really and awesome. every day is fun because at one at least once i get to talk about green bass yeah. at, at least once a day I, I, at I least at least once a day yeah. <laughs> i think it happens way more than that i yeah. think what you do all yeah. day long is, so, is uh, something in and around this uh those fish that we're chasing across the country but so so for that young guy looking to get a sponsor what would you say to him what what does he need to do how does he approach it um the, there's three ways for you to be able to get a sponsorship and i think there might be more and, and a lot of times it all will work out in the end if you catch fish really good that's one way but honestly that is not the way that you really grow like you have to be the best in the world you have yeah, to, i want you to say that because like you know catching fish at your local you know weekend you know, fruit it, jar it, tournament. it's like winning an mlf classic it, it uh red crest those twice or that's what you're talking about catching yeah. fish really good yeah i mean right not yeah. the bfl no, weekend deal no that does that has a place but very small compared to where you want to be in your career to be a full-time professional fisherman you and get sponsored by a, com a company like us one way to do it is to just catch fish like crazy to win a jordan lee a jordan lee an edwin <laughs> yeah. i mean someone like that you have to be like that you have to catch them all the time Right. Yeah, and you have to win, and you have to be exposure nonstop. But it doesn't always work like that. So there's other ways for you to get sponsored, but you have to work hard at it. You have to be uh, very prepared to do this stuff, and and not just oh, I catch fish, so I should be sponsored. That's not how this game works. Um, it it is a lot of how you build your own brand. If you build your own brand, and then people won't to be a part of your brand, your individual brand. You have a brand, uh, I have a brand, it's probably not a very good brand, but I, I have who I am, right? So um, it is, you build that and then once that goes out and people wanna be a part of that, then that's when the companies will come to you. When you are able to sell product for a company like us, 
um, then that is when the sponsors will come. When, when you say it like a, a YouTuber or Instagram or, or, or if you're really good at selling product at a local dealer level, that is another great way to get sponsored because these tackle shops want to sell product just like we do. And if you're selling our product, we'll help you do that by gear, by wrapping your boat, stuff like that. Stuff to help you continue in your path of, because we all know that tournaments are not cheap. E even a BFL, it's you're going to spend a lot of money to even be in something as small as that. Or it's not like fishing a, a Bass Pro Tour event, but... Uh, it is important that you know that if you can sell product at a local level, we will we will work with you and we will help you in everything you do and help grow you and you help grow us, right? I think what, what like, I mean, you <laughs> talked about that a bunch today out there fishing. So, like, if you're saying that high school angler, and I did this in my career, I worked at Bedford Sales, and I was in there just selling, selling, selling everything. And during his open house, you'd have like the reps, you know, the real reps, the, the tackle reps would be in there too. And they'd see that. And that's how I got my foot in the door with some of those companies. Right. But that, you're, in my opinion, and maybe you, that's you, what you're You can be a guide. You can be a tournament angler that put, like, I call all these fish on Berkeley Bay. And then you send over and over for a year straight. It's going to get back to yeah. you. Yep. You're going to come find that high yep. school angler. So, or college angler, yep. Or college angler. Or if you're really good at a B in the BFL ranks or the uh, grassroots. If you do a good job of promoting the products, you will be found and you will be taken care of. Okay. It is important to be very professional when you reach out to sponsors. <laughs> uh, I've had, I, I'm sure this happens all over across the industry, but it's uh, very rarely do I give a second thought when it's not a very professional email. When it's very, hey, I fish, what do I need to do to get sponsored? You should sponsor me, you, you, you should do this. And, I'm, and it's all about what you can do for us. And then we, we will then sponsor you or we'll, helping where we can it's about building a relationship right um so many times it's a it's a one and done thing but the ones that really are in it to start out small and grow and grow and grow that's the ones that are, are successful and are very appreciated in in this industry it's funny you say that because i get emails all the time through the website from young people and like nothing is spelt right there's no yep. periods nothing's capitalized so you're saying if you do that, it's You're probably not, not going to get looked at. It's and, going in the trash yeah, pretty quick. Yeah. And so take the time and do it right. Yeah. And, and, and if you do it, please, please make sure you show what you can do for us. Right. Yeah. Uh, because at the end of the game, it's. It's about it, selling baits. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You know, my very first sponsor that I ever had was Madman Lures. And, uh, really a cool company kind of a cutting edge company it was like the most realistic crawdad ever you know uh and that's what i did i worked at the bass pro shops in grapevine texas and we me jeff crete and jeff reynolds we sold a bunch of baits you know standing up there at that aquarium throwing in that aquarium without a hook in there and just yeah, showing you how gotta those be fish. willing to work and yep. you gotta be willing to you can't fish all the time you, that's mm -hmm. not how it's gonna that's not how this game's work uh, it's changed some in 2020 because of the events are kind of going but hopefully when we get back to this we need people working events that's just part of it and that's how you really get seen but also as we see today it's social media that's how you build your brand is right. there it, at, at this time this day and age that's how you build your brand and that's how you get seen you can still fish and still be great at it but if you have both that's where that's where people start coming um to find you and to and to mm -hmm. want to work with you to help them sell more products right uh, if you do a good job of that then that's and, and you know i think something else that a mistake a lot of anglers make and 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 i think you've got to pick something you believe in yep, you know absolutely there's that... so many of them that just go out there and they take the shotgun approach and they blast all these different sponsors you know from way over here to way over there in my mind, I think people see right through that. Right. You know, I, I wholeheartedly believe in the companies that I represent. Berkeley, the Maxent, that whole deal. Like, it gives me confidence. I want that. I don't ever want to lose that, you know. So, I mean, you've got to believe in what you're going to present. And, and you know, those guys that are out there just with a shotgun approach, <laughs> you know, I, I don't yeah, think that... Uh, that the, it's hard. It's hard for... We have guys that will say, oh, 
I want to be sponsored. They're really good at what they do, and we sponsor them. And then a lot of times they don't want to use our products because they don't like it, and they have to lie about what they use right. in it. That's just not how this game works. People see right through that, and um, with the products we have, you don't have to do that. Uh, you have to, we have the right gear, the right uh, uh, line rails, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so everything. like, it's it's about what you believe in. If you don't, you shouldn't work with a company just because they're helping you out or right. anything. Uh, now, now we have a program. Uh, Berkeley has a program for high school and college anglers for an opportunity at a discount. To, to get your foot in the door and to have a pro mentorship. So someone like you, I think you've worked with teams in the mm -hmm, past mm -hmm. and it's a way for you to learn. It's also a way for you to get your foot in, in the door and to and to get a product that you like because we all know how college kids and high school kids are. They don't have all the cash in the world no, to buy. No, they don't have stuff all I did. Place. So right. we're, we're here to help you out, but we're also, would love for the folks that are in that program, we like it when they send pictures, when they talk about the products, when they send videos of them using the product. It's a great, it's a great way for them to get their foot in the door. So like when they, you're not gonna be in high school forever. You're never mm -hmm. gonna be, you're not gonna be in college, college. forever. So uh, you, can, you can look at a lot of folks that started out at companies in high school, in college, and they continue to grow with that company because they got their foot in the door and they worked really hard since that day. And that, and that's, it, it is called the uh, Berkeley and Abu Garcia Student Angler Program. Uh, the link will be below, right? Yeah, we can put yeah, the link in there. Yeah, let's put the link so in the there. So the Berkeley, Abu, Garcia Student, Student Angler Program. Student Angler Program. So if you sign up to this program, you get all of our rods, reels, baits, all, all of that at a uh, oh, premium cool. price. And then you will also be able to have a pro mentorship and um, a way to get your foot in the door with a company that yeah. it's not very easy to do, right? So yeah. if you get in there in that program and work really hard to grow mm -hmm. and to uh, promote our brands, starting there, that's a great way to start. That, that, that is one of the best ways to start. And um, I, I manage that program as well. So I, I, I can take you from high school to college to the pros. Yeah. So. Just got to catch some fish. Yeah, you got to catch fish and you got to be able to promote, promote yourself. And sell, yourself. And yep, sell yep. some stuff. You know, you don't have to catch all the fish. You right. got to catch a few and right. be able to sell some baits. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's really cool because what he's saying about the pro mentorship, you know, now it's all kind of virtual, but, you know, there's a day and a time that you bring, and, you know, Berkeley has a awesome pro staff. You know, you'd bring a, a, a guy like me or Jordan or Bobby Lane into, you know, a, a place and meet with all the, the students. You know, it's just a great time face to face contact. Yeah. So. So I'm a 17 year old kid and I feel like I can catch them. What are my first steps? Uh, create an Instagram, a Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. TikTok. Uh, I'm not completely sure on all that, the TikTok stuff, but I know it helps. And um, uh, I know that is the way a lot of kids that age are going. So it, uh, definitely a way to grow. But everything else, you start there, but you also uh, create a resume. You meet your local dealer. Local you, tackle shop, yep. local Bass Pro, yep. local Cabela's, yeah, any whatever of those. it may be. And, and get in there and see how you can help them. See how, how Start you can- Start there, yep, volunteer. You, yeah, volunteer. Straight up volunteer and helping at the store. Yep, and see how you can get, and then if you believe in our products, help push our products, and then come to me with the results you have from that. You would come with a resume saying this, and then you would come with uh, sources, that tackle dealership is going to be like, hey man, this yep. guy is killing it over here. You we guys have to need have, to help yep, him out. Yep, exactly. That, that's, you've had that happen, I'm sure. Oh, all the time. And yep. that's why, if you look, we have a very large top pro staff, but we also have a regional pro staff. And these guys don't get the TV coverage you do. Right. So um, there's got to be a way for them to be successful. And that is through a local dealer level. You know, I would say just to touch on that, you know, that... When I'm on that stinking TikTok, there's some embarrassing stuff on there. You know, make sure your social media, you don't want to be shown. Yep. You know, the sponsor is going to look at your social yep. media and he's going to say, hey, yeah, you look great here. But, you know, on Saturday night, you're acting like a knucklehead, you know, doing whatever, you know, you just got to keep that stuff. Keep it to where Clean it's and professional. And professional. Like, That's the word for it. Yep. This needs to be professional because you are going to, if you're going to present yourself out there on social media, when you go to get a sponsor, now you're presenting this whole company of Berkeley yep. as yourself. So you got to think about that when you're on your social media and just don't be a knucklehead. Don't be a knucklehead. Yeah.
I've been told that once. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Do you have any experience with other sponsors that can help these kids as well to help oh. them get on a, a Berkeley? So, like for me in my career, I, I got told no a lot. You know, I'd try a tire company or I'd try a, anything, Sonic, whatever it may be, <laughs> your local, you know, Dairy Queen, Kuhn, you know, whatever yeah. you want it, to, want it to be, your local restaurant, whatever it is, you got to be told no a bunch. But, uh, you know, basically, I would lay it out there. I'd try to keep the resumes halfway short. You know, I wouldn't, you know, I've had some of them that was a big book. I don't think people truly want to see that. You know, in my day, it was all a resume. It was on paper. You mailed it and you shipped it. Uh, now everything's digital. You know, it's all on an email. But I think I, I, you could correct me, but I feel like it needs to be short to the point. It needs right. to be professional. Include a few Absolutely. pictures. Um, and by all means, it needs to be laid out in there. I, I've, I, you know, I've, I've, I've been working this boat show for X amount of years. I've been, you know, I'm present at this tackle shop, you know, and, and have references, you know, that the, that you can call on. Right. So just make it more about what you can do for him. That's the biggest thing. Not, hey, what can you do for him? It's what you can do for, for Berkeley and Brad. So, uh, you know, I think that's just the biggest misconception so many kids have that, you know, they're gonna go win their local team championship and they're gonna get, all these sponsors flooding in. I can tell you, I made my first classic and I got one paying sponsor out of the deal. You know, I mean, it was, you, you think making the Bassmaster Classic, you're gonna get all this stuff coming. It wasn't that way at all, you know, not even close. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I think it, as professional as you can be in everything you do, it helps. Um, mm -hmm having your shirt tucked in every time you meet a sponsor every time you're around them having not beard cleaned up all that mine might not be but all of these things matter in in a professional world and that's what being sponsored is it's not it, it's a job and it, it's it's uh you get paid to do a job and we pay you it's just not to fish and, right. and, and i guess that's the biggest thing because when i think back to these kids they just think it's so easy i i truly made the classic qualified for the first I've only been fishing the opens three years my third year I made the classic and you would think you'd get all kinds of sponsors it just doesn't work that way I was two three four more years till I got my next one and then some decent you know yep, sponsors yep, so no, it's yeah, yeah. it's a long 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 building process and that's somebody that was at the top of the level you know yep. you know at the time top 150s there wasn't any higher level at the time so um it's a long road I, I guess it's just nothing that really happens overnight even for a fellow like Jordan right. Lee you know, he worked his way to where he's at, you know. Got him? Fish on! Oh, you got him hooked in the belly. It's a big old bass. Got him. Oh, man, bud. He is a chunk. Look at the small mouth. He's ice cold. Good job. Good job. Sweet. When I, when, like, if you look at my portfolio of sponsors, you know, and, I, and a nitro boat, I can give a person every reason in the world why spending that amount of money for that amount of boat, that that boat's perfect for me and that I love it and I, mean, I have no trouble. Same thing with Berkeley. You know, when I can sit there and I've been to Spirit Lake and I've seen the science behind it, why the baits are so good, how they hold on to fish. You know, when they put on that package, it, fish hold on to it 45% you know, percent more and, and you know, catches 18 times more fish. I mean, that stuff's all science. They've timed it, they've done it all right there. And, and uh, you know, I've wholeheartedly, I've got confidence in it because I've seen it all firsthand, but you know, it shows through my sponsorship, my relationship, um, my fishing that, man, I've got confidence in my baits and, right. and it's all because of that science that they put in behind yeah, it. Yeah, so. and, and, and that's something we, we preach, but when you see it, you believe it and you're able to work fluently with us. And it's a very, you like our baits and you catch fish because of a pace. You won um, mm -hmm. AOI last year. Mm -hmm. You won Red Caris last year. And uh, that's a that's something that we would like to say we helped you do, right? No, no doubt. It's the best year I ever had, and it was my first year with Berkeley, so I just wish I'd have been with you 10 years <laughs> sooner. So there's no doubt. I mean, I never won that much money in a year, won that many right. tournaments, you know? Right. So absolutely 100%, yeah. you know? And, and, and that's the way sponsorships should work, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way any job should work. We take care of win yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. And, and, and that is our goal in every situation we have, with mm -hmm. every pro we have, um, from saltwater to walleye to 
top bass pro that yeah. that is the goal we have is for us to work together to sell more baits and for right. us to help you fish more and catch more fish and win an yeah. aoi and a red crest and a classic and and so that yeah. that's when sponsorship is very enjoyable and yeah. that's where it it really pans out so no, i'm very thankful for the company and the science behind it because man it's a it's a game changer for me so yeah. awesome So guys, there it is. I got to spend the day in the boat with Brad, the uh, pro staff manager for Berkeley. 400 anglers this guy takes care of. 400 bass, walleye, saltwater. I mean, just, I'm amazed. Yeah. I would hate to see your inbox on any <laughs> given day, you know. it's uh, So just think about that. 400 anglers across the United States and some in Mexico. But man, I really enjoyed the day with you. Uh, I want you guys to leave comments. You know, I probably didn't ask all of them. I know you guys have left me a lot of comments and, and I wish I had them all right here to ask Brad, but leave me some comments. I'll get them to Brad. We'll get them answered on getting sponsored, on being a part of the pro staff. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching along. I appreciate you taking me out today and, and taking the time to do this. And uh, Yeah, it was awesome. Man. And uh, look forward to seeing what everyone has to say and <laughs> see if we can help grow and yeah. help uh, everyone understand the process to make it easier on everyone. There's nobody that understands that more than you because <laughs> you've been on both sides of yeah. it, you know, just like I have. But now you're managing all that. You're yeah. seeing all that stuff come in. So appreciate you guys following along. Be sure you subscribe and leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next week.